Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I really hope you guys enjoyed my last video where I did a haul. I know it was a little bit different, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you didn't watch that, I'll put it in the info button above and you guys can check that out. But today we're back to DIYs, thankfully. And we're doing a really quick and easy DIY today because I've noticed that my other previous videos have been very long and they're very dreadful to watch so I understand your pain we're doing a quick one today and all you need is five things for this DIY so it's quick easy and cheap also I'm pretty sure everyone has these things in their house already so it shouldn't be a big issue but I think it was just really cute and I saw it on Pinterest and I wanted to try it out so today we're making DIY light switch covers you know the thing that you turn your lights off and on, the thing that's around it, the box. Yeah, okay, you know what I'm talking about, so let's get into it. So the first thing you need for this DIY would be washi tape. And I got one with diagonal lines and one with some triangles. And I got these from Claire's, but I'm pretty sure you can buy them from Walmart for cheaper. The next thing you will need is a light switch cover. And I got this from a rummage sale for a dollar, but I'm pretty sure they sell it at your local hardware store for less than two dollars. Some other tools that you will need is a scissors, and you'll use this to cut the washi tape. Last but not least, you will need a flat nose screwdriver just to screw off the cover that's currently on your light switch. So first things first is you're just going to take your light switch cap and you're going to take some washi tape so I'm just taking my blue diagonal one first then I'm going to take my light switch cover and I'm just going to put it in one of the corners going diagonally if you had help from someone I think this would be a lot easier process so once you have it on there there's going to be like extra stuff so you're just going to take your scissors and cut the excess off and if there's like extra, just fold it over because nobody's really going to see the inside. And same thing goes for the top. So this is how it's supposed to look. Now you just keep on going with the other tape. So now taking this tribal tape, I'm just going to basically repeat the step and put it on and do the same thing. This is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just going to speed it up here. So now we have to take our cover and we have to poke holes because we need the holes for the actual light switch. So just poke a few holes in the biggest area, the rectangle area, and then just kind of fold over the pieces. You can cut it out with like an X-Acto knife, but I don't think it looks as natural as, you know, just putting it over. Cause then it looks more professional and like it you bought it from the store and that's what we're trying to achieve right and nobody really cares about the inside so yeah you can you can get away with doing this and this is how it looks see doesn't it look professional so now for the holes you're basically gonna do the same thing i would recommend it from poking from the back and then going in the front and then going all around because then that kind of makes a hole and then just repeat that two times so now for the fun part so you're gonna take your flat nose screwdriver and we're just gonna basically screw out the cover that's currently in your room remember lefty loosey righty tighty and then just take the screws out 
There's also like this black thing that comes with it, so make sure that you don't lose that. I didn't know that that was there. I thought it was just a screw, but it's there's a black thing. I don't know, it depends on your light switch, I guess. So now, taking the new cover that you have, just put the screws in the holes, and they should fit, and the black things again. So here comes the tricky part. You have to get the screws in the same hole at the same time. Or you could just do one and then like screw it loosely and then just do the other one. That's what I found was helpful. And you're going to take your screwdriver and just screw it on. And it's that easy. So this is the final product and I'm really happy at how it turned out and I think it's an upcycle to your boring light switch cover. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this really quick and easy DIY. I know it wasn't as long as my previous videos but I think it was still pretty good and useful. And this whole project only cost me a dollar because you had to buy the actual plate because we rent a house, we can't actually, you know, design anything or hang things on walls. I know, struggle. So I had to buy another one for a dollar and the washi tape was free and um, the scissors and the screwdriver I already had. So this is a super easy DIY and I'm pretty sure everyone can do it themselves. It's really, really simple. I probably didn't need to do a video on it. I just wanted to show it because I thought it was really useful and people could use it. If you guys feel like recreating this DIY, then use the hashtag light switch, um, light switch DIY, and I will check them out. But until next time, I will see you guys next week. Bye! easy one today it like requires like one two three four five things but can I, can I start this over again yeah let me start this over again these um what what do you call it making these light switch holders um we're making these light switch like these decorated light switch um so let's get into it Oh my god, did you see that? It was like a helicopter. Should I do that? So, let's get into it. <laughs> I give up on myself. I'm just gonna do like OG. So, let's get into it. So, I will see you guys. Oh, shucks. Oh, my mom's going. Bye, mom. Is this tripod? Crooked? It looks crooked. Like, or am I crooked? Better not be crooked because if it's crooked, I'm gonna be so angry. Okay, good news is that.